Hey yo, what's up guys? Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Kaz here, aka Fantastic Mr. Fox. I know I haven't posted anything in a while. I've just been really busy with work and stuff, so I apologize for that. But at the moment, I have some free time, so I'll get some uh, videos done for you guys. Anyways, in today's video, I'll be looking at the C58, how it compares to the AMAX, and also give you guys the best attachment setup. The C58 has been compared to the AMAX because it's very similar to the AMAX in terms of damage output and also being a high skill weapon, meaning that you have to be above average or highly skilled to be able to use this gun to its full potential. But for that reason it isn't in the meta at the moment because the low to average players can't seem to control the recoil and because the fire rate is quite slow as well it's very unforgiving which means if you don't land your shots or you miss your shots then you will most likely be outgunned and that's why there isn't many people using this gun at the moment but this gun is actually very good if we look at the numbers and the stats just from the stats this gun hands down is better than the current AMAX and we'll look at the stats in just one moment so if you're confident in your skill level and you want to use a hard hitting high skill gun then you definitely need to keep watching to find out how the CR58 nicknamed the baby AMAX compares to its big brother the CR56 AMAX so firstly we look at the base stats for both weapons. This is without any attachments. Okay, so first up we can see that the fire rate on the C58 is a little bit slower compared to the AMAX. The AMAX has a 630 rounds per minute, whereas the C58 has a 553 rounds per minute. What this means is that the C58 is very unforgiving. So if you miss any of your shots, then your TTK drops dramatically. Quite similar to the Cold War AK-47, to be honest. Okay, so next up we can see that at longer ranges that the C58 has a quite a significant higher damage profiles compared to the AMAX. Uh, what this means is that with the C58 you can get 6 shot to kill with only 1 headshot and 4 chest shots. Whereas with the AMAX if you wanted the 6 shot to kill you would need 4 headshots and 2 chest shots. Uh, so it's far more likely that you're going to be getting the 6 shot to kill with the C58 compared to the AMAX and we'll see how likely it is for you to land your shots with the recoil test later on. The next big difference we can see is that the C58 has a much faster bullet velocity compared to the AMAX and that makes a big difference to the TTK uh, when you're stacking all the best attachments and we can just have a look at that just now. We can see that the C58 with the best attachments has a nearly bullet velocity of 1200 milliseconds, whereas the AMAX is a little bit slower, which is nearly 230 milliseconds slower. So that is going to be reflected on the time to kill when we can have a look at the TTK charts just now. Okay, so if we just look at the TTK charts quickly, this is 250 health with three plates on chest shots. So we're going to be focusing on 40 plus meters. Uh, C58 is in orange, the AMAX is in pink. So we can see straight away that the C56 is a little bit faster than the AMAX. Uh, 40 milliseconds difference between the two on chest shots. So if we just have a look at the headshots, we can see again the C58 is a little bit faster than the AMAX. Um, that is a difference between, I would think, like 50 milliseconds on headshots. And if we look at the stomach shots quickly, we can see that there's a big difference between the two. Uh, again, C58 is a little bit faster. It's about 120 millisecond faster on stomach shots. So overall, all around, um, at long distance, the C58 is going to be killing faster than the AMAX because of the bullet velocity and the damage profiles. So now I'm quickly just going to compare the recoil of both guns for you so that we can get an understanding on how likely you are to land your shots with the C58. Because as we've seen before, the C58 is very slow when it comes to fire rate. So if the recoil is difficult to control, then you won't be able to land any shots, which will make it useless. So we can see here that the C58 has quite a bit of vertical recoil and the horizontal bound is very low. Um, it's pretty much just uh, going straight up and to the left. There is a little bit of curve just here. Um, whereas the AMAX is pretty much all over the place. The recoil pattern is like a zigzag bouncing left to right. And the vertical is pretty high up, as you can see, compared to the C58. Um, from this, we can see that the C58 has much better recoil and it's much easier to control. You can just pretty much just pull down and then to the right a little bit and then you should be able to control it whereas the AMAX is very bouncy left and right and it has a very high vertical recoil um, so it's going to be the C58 is going to be pretty easy to control for anybody that's um, above average or highly skilled 
Okay, so now we're just going to look at what the best attachments for the C58 are, the best class setup for the Baby Amax. First up, we're going to be looking at the muzzle. So you want the agency suppressor. This is going to give you sound suppression, so you stay off the radar. It's also going to help with your vertical recoil and increase your bullet velocity by 50%. Um, it does increase your damage range, but because we're going to be using it at longer ranges, 40 plus meters, uh, we're not really concerned with the damage range. Um, it does increase your aim down sight a little bit. It um, increases it by 15 to 18 milliseconds. And because we're using it at longer ranges, um, we're not really concerned about the ADS, even though it's ever so slightly. 18 uh, milliseconds is not a big difference. Okay, so next up is the barrel. We're going to go for the Ranger barrel. This helps with your bullet velocity and vertical recoil control, so it increases your bullet velocity by 50%. You can go for the task force, which helps your bullet velocity vertical and horizontal by 10%, and also increases your damage range by about 30%, um, but it does hurt your ADS and movement speed, so for that reason I prefer the Ranger Barrel. So next up is the Optic. For the Optic, I've chosen the Forex, because the four, with the Forex, the visual recoil is slightly reduced, so your gun doesn't bounce around a lot. Whereas the 3x, um, the gun there is a lot of visual recoil. The gun bounces around a lot, so it's very, it's much more easier to hit your shots with the 4x than it is with the 3x. Okay, so next up is the underbarrel. For the underbarrel, you want to go for the field agent grip. With this, you will get uh, help with your vertical and horizontal recoil. It helps your vertical by seven percent and your horizontal by fifteen percent. Um, it does state that it's hurting your movement speed and your ADS move speed. Uh, to be honest, it's not hurting at all, or it's very little that it's not even noticeable. So you want to go for the field agent grip to help with both your vertical and horizontal recoil. So the last attachment is the ammo. So I've gone for the 55 round mag. Um, this does hurt your ADS speed a little bit uh, by 40 milliseconds. You can go for the 45 drum if you prefer to... Um, not get penalized on the ADS. Um, I prefer the 55 because I don't want to get stuck reloading. So it's totally up to you on the last attachment if you want to go for the 45 or the 55. Okay, so that's the best setup for the Baby Amax, the C58. I hope this video helped you out in understanding why the C58 is really good. Make sure to give this gun a go and I'm sure you're going to like it. And let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button. And guys, if you're new to my channel, I do a lot of helpful videos, hints, tips, guides, and all that good stuff. I also do gun guides just like this one. So if you want more fantastic content without the clickbait crap, then definitely consider subscribing. It really does help me out a lot. Alright guys, I'll see you on the next one. Have a fantastic day. Yeah, boys!